guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. Today we're gonna be reacting to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. Firstly, according to reports, Barcelona have offered Robert Lewandowski an absolutely massive contract to join Barcelona this summer. Of course, the club want to sign a marquee player in the forward line to help with the shirt sales and earn some money. And of course, Erling Haaland is that priority. But his deal right now is very more Man City and now the club are looking at alternates. And apparently, they have offered Lewandowski a new contract to join Barcelona this summer. And of course, in those winger positions, we want to strengthen the team there as well. With maybe Adama Traore and Dembele leaving the club this summer two main candidates right now are both brazilian wingers rafinha and anthony they will both cost around the same price the question now is is which winger will barcelona go for and in the end sign this summer now with new players coming in players will have to leave the club as well right now felipe coutinho and francisco trincao both on loan out for barcelona are the two main names to bring in some money and funds this summer coutinho no doubt will be sold but trincao will be a bit more difficult the club want to sell him but in the end they could look for a low move for him again as well and finally we have some contract renewal updates around uzman dembele around the araujo and also pablo gabe but before we get into it make sure you guys smash that like button down below let's try to get the 300 likes on this video be very much appreciated and also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and let's get into it let's start off with the transfer news over the past 24 hours the first player that we have been linked with is robert Lewandowski, and this rumor is by far the most ridiculous rumor i have heard in quite a few weeks it's coming in from sport they've come out saying that barcelona have offered robert Lewandowski a four-year contract until June 2026. Barcelona want to sign a star player and his signing would not be as financially complicated as Erling Haaland's. The club have promised a player that he'll be a leader of Xavi's new project. Lewandowski would like to join Barcelona and he considers his time in the Bundesliga finished and is ready to leave Bayern Munich this summer. His agent Zahavi is very close friends with Juan Laporta. <laughs> I mean, we're offering a 34-year-old striker a four-year contract. This this is not true. The problem with Lewandowski is he does not even know whether or not he wants to leave Bayern Munich this summer or not, and apparently Barcelona have already offered him a four-year contract. Absolute crap. Although I do believe that Barcelona are indeed interested in Lewandowski, there is no way we have made him a contract offer whatsoever. And Blin, of course, the top source in Germany, came out saying that Barcelona have not made any offer to Robert Lewandowski yet, and neither has he decided his future. Bayern Munich want to extend his contract, but there are no negotiations currently and that's what's annoying Robert Lewandowski right now he wants to renew his contract best striker in the world and the club is not even talking to him and that's what's disappointing him that's why he said look this summer I either sign a new contract at Bayern Munich or I will leave the club the question now is which one will it be if he does leave Bayern Munich I think Barcelona will be in the race it'll be a two-year contract it will not be a four-year contract there's no way we're gonna offer that much for a striker of his age but again, I still believe the club are interested in him if he does leave Bayern Munich this summer. Now, another Bundesliga striker that we have linked with, of course, is Erling Haaland. A quick update on him coming in from Mundo Deportivo. They have come out saying that Barcelona has not given up on signing Erling Haaland yet. Barcelona cannot afford the best financial proposal, but they are trying to convince him through their project. With the 4-0 Clasico win is a clear example of Xavi's growing project at Barcelona. It's all about wishes now for Barcelona. We've made the offer and now Erling Haaland is making his decision. I think in the next month, we will know where he'll be playing next season. It will be either Barcelona, Real Madrid, or Manchester City. No one else. The question now is, which team will he play for? He's going now apparently through a deep analysis, going through every single team's uh, sporting project, their style. He's watching every single game from this season and then he'll make up his decision. Hopefully Barcelona are still in the race. I still believe so. But right now, we're definitely not the favorites. Now, of course, Erling Haaland is the top priority in the forward position for Barcelona with Lewandowski as a plan B. Another plan B for Barcelona is Paolo Dybala. Firstly, coming in from Mateo Morito from Sky Sports, he's come out saying the matter of Paolo Dybala being available for free has reached the Barcelona offices. Barcelona think that it could be a market opportunity, but nothing more. For now, the club has other priorities on the table. And Gabriel Sanz from Mundo Deportivo came out saying it is very unlikely that Barcelona will go for Paolo Dybala as the club has other targets. And Dybala's environment assures till now there have been no contacts with Barcelona, although they will keep the door open open for a move. Now, Romano just came out saying, as, as I'm recording this video, he's come out saying that right now, Barcelona and Dybala are not talking, but it could happen. 
he's free. You have to keep this in mind that he is free. And I feel like at some point or another, Barcelona will make their move on Dybala or if anything, offer him a contract. Again, it's going to be like an Aubameyang situation. We're going to go for Erling Haaland. It's going to flop. We'll go for, I don't know, Mo Salah. It'll flop. Oh, look, that ball's over here for free. Let's go for him. I think that could happen. And that's why I don't completely shut the door quite yet for Dybala until he has another agreement with another club like Liverpool, PSG, Inter, whoever it may be. The door for Barcelona is always open. So keep your eyes on Dybala because he's a free agent. He will be a market opportunity for Barcelona. Now with Barcelona expecting some departures in the attacking position, whether it's going to be Usman Dembele, it could be Adenal Matariore, Memphis Depay, Luke De Jong. The club are right now looking for a new winger to come into Barcelona this summer and have two names on the table. Rafinha and Anthony. Firstly on Rafinha, reports coming in from Brazil saying that Denny Alves is trying to convince lead United winger Rafinha to sign for Barcelona. The fullback has been telling him how wonderful the city of Barcelona is and how it is to play for the club and Sport again have come out saying that Rafinha prioritizes joining Barcelona over Liverpool and Bayern Munich and has informed this to his agent Deco. The Brazilian feels ready to take the next step in his career and his desire is to succeed at Barcelona. Rafinha has a contract with Leeds until June 2024 with a 7 25 million euro release clause if they stay in the Premier League but he wants to leave and thus has rejected numerous contract renewal offers from Leeds the Brazilian is attracted by La Liga and Xavi's project so I think right now Rafinha is definitely leading the race over Anthony to come in as that new winger for Barcelona but again it does depend on a departure Dembele, Adama, Memphis, Luke one of them has to leave. Rafinha is coming in as a replacement. He'll not be he'll not be added to the current attack. If we all keep our all our forwards right now, Rafinha, Anthony will not be coming. These are players coming in as replacements. For me personally, I like Rafinha. I think he's a very, very good player. I think the price is gonna be a bit high for Barcelona. I think I would spend 30, maybe plus few million euros in variables, but right now his market value is around 40 to 50 million euros. So I'll have to wait and see what we spend on him. And of course, the backup option for him is Anthony. Esport came out saying that Denny Alves recommends Barcelona to sign Anthony. He is pushing the club to bet on his signing. Agent Denny Alves out here in the Brazilian squad doing absolute madness. Barcelona have the names of both Rafinha and Anthony on their table, but signing the lateral, of course, Anthony will be tougher as many clubs are indeed interested. And finally, Barcelona are not only the club interested in Anthony, Bayern Munich, and at least three other English clubs, including Liverpool, are eyeing him as well. Ajax values the forward at approximately 40 million euros. He's likely to leave in the summer. Now, both these two players are priced at 40 million euros. I would go for Anthony. He's younger. I think he's more energetic. I think he's much better on the wing. I think both of them at their peak in their prime. Anthony will be better, although Rafinha is still a fantastic player. I would personally go for Anthony. Of course, Ajax knows the system very similar to Barcelona. Of course, Leeds park the bus and counterattack in the Premier League. That's all they do. Although I think Rafinha can adapt to La Liga and Xavi's playing style. But if both are the same price, I would go for Anthony. So we'll wait and see. Again, Barcelona in the market for a new winger with the imminent departure of Dembele and maybe even Adama Traore. So keep your eyes on these two players. But again, we have to sell players first before these players come in. Now, a player that Barcelona are very close to signing on a free deal as a free agent this summer is Nusir Mazouari, the right back from Morocco and Ajax. Alfredo Martinez came out saying that Real Madrid have tried to sign Nur Mazouari over the past 48 hours, but they were surprised to find out that he has already agreed a deal with Barcelona. So, Real Madrid over the past 24 hours have tried to go and sign Mazouari and turns out he's already agreed a deal with Barcelona and this is coming in from one of the top journalists in Barcelona. And apparently now we're hearing that, oh, Mazouari's deal has nothing to do with Erling Haaland, so... I think this deal now will happen. This could be a favor for Mina Raiola in the future because, of course, he has a lot of excellent clients. So this could be, you know, a favor for that. And apparently, Barcelona have been following Mazzawari for a long time and really do like him. Apparently, Mazzawari has been in Barcelona asking his friends about the city, how it's like living there. So now it looks like slowly but surely this deal is advancing and we could end up signing Mazzawari very, very soon. Could have happened over the international break, possibly. But in the end, Barcelona are leading the race for his signature and most likely he will end up at the camp now next season. Let's now discuss the players who have have been rumored to leave Barcelona over the past 24 hours. Firstly, is a player out on loan currently from Barcelona to Aston Villa, and that is our most expensive signing in history. Felipe Coutinho, Mundo Deportivo came out saying that Arsenal are also interested in signing Felipe Coutinho this summer, but Steven Gerrard wants Aston Villa to buy him for the 40 million euro buy option on his loan move. Coutinho will decide his future in May after the Premier League ends. Arsenal could offer him Champions League football, unlike Aston Villa. So, 
clubs are queuing up for uh, you know Felipe Coutinho he will be sold this summer 100% the question now is where will he go and what will the money be coming in from Barcelona if we can get 40 million euros as the minimum that's perfect if we can get 40 plus variable that would be superb but in the end it is much needed that we sell Coutinho this summer of course coming into this summer he has one year left on his contract so either we sell him this summer for some money or we'll leave next summer for free because there's no way in hell we're renewing his contract so I'll have to wait and see what happens but again Coutinho will most likely leave Barcelona this summer now another player currently out on loan from Barcelona that the club want to get rid of is the Portuguese winger Francisco Trincao now this is coming in from the record Portuguese who are a very good reliable source in Portugal of course they've come out saying that Benfica and Sporting are in the race to sign Trincao on loan from Barcelona this summer now again we've been hearing a lot over the past few weeks that Wolves do not want to keep Trincao Barcelona will most likely offer him an Adama Traore Trincao swap deal again Jorge Mendes being that key factor for Barcelona as he's the agent for both players and also owns part of Wolves but if that does not happen Benfica and Sporting will be there to offer a low move for Trincao what is quite clear is that Barcelona want to get rid of him he's not in the plans for the future Chavez does not you know fancy him I guess rather have you know Dembele, Adama, Ferran on Sufati, there's no room for him. In the end, he was a Bartomeu signing, and the club will look to sell him this summer. The big question is where is he going to be next season, and will it be a loan, a permanent sale? or even be included in a swap deal. And the final player who has been rumored to leave Barcelona over the past 24 hours is Clément Longley, the French center back of course, and sport of Kamal saying that Clément Longley has only played 92 minutes this year. My god. He continues to work as a great professional but Chavi prefers other center backs. His future at Barcelona is very complicated. He knows that if he wants to play more regularly, he has to leave this summer. The question now is, Will this man leave or not? I think if he cares about his career, he will leave. But I do think that Barcelona are happy to keep him. He says, hey, look, you want to be like the fifth choice center back? You can stay no problem. Of course, Eric Garcia playing well. Anujo playing well. PK about to retire, but still has one more year left in him. And of course, Andres Christensen is coming in this summer. So technically, we still have one room for a center back and for a fifth choice center back, of course. So that means Omtiti is definitely done out here alongside Austin Mingitha as well. So Longblad could end up staying, but he won't play whatsoever. He'll be like a training uh, training player to play in the training sessions and come in if we need an emergency. But he is on 100K a week, and that is quite a bit for a training player, a squad role player. So we'll wait and see what happens with Longblad. If he wants to leave, if he has ambitions, then he'll leave the club and get more game time. If not, he's happy with the paycheck every single week like Omtiti. He'll end up staying at Barcelona. Let's now discuss some contract renewal updates around the first team at Barcelona. Firstly, on the contract renewal of Ousmane Dembele. And over the past 24 hours, we have been getting a lot of mixed signals from different journalists in the media. Firstly, coming in from Candacer, they've come out saying that this is between Barcelona and Ousmane Dembele's representatives are very large. Currently, it seems impossible that he will renew at Barcelona. But Golo came out saying that Barcelona and Ousmane Dembele's agent are willing to sit down and negotiate his contract renewal. The door is open for a possible renewal at this current moment. Finally, Fernando Polo of Deportivo, very, very reliable. He's come out saying that Barcelona are pessimistic about Ousmane Dembele's continuation at Barcelona. There have been no contacts between the two parties yet, and Barcelona maintained that the players' camp must make that first move and accept the offer which was made earlier. So, Still in the same spot, like I've been saying for the past few weeks, the club will only renew Dembele's contract if they go back to the previous offer they made them and accept it, and they have to come first. We're not going to go there saying, hey Dembele, our renewal offer is still on the table if we're going to come back. Dembele and Musasoka have to come to Barcelona's office and say, look, we'll, we'll take that offer that you offered us back in the uh, end of December. Sign it, bada bing, bada boom, shake hands, get the hell out of my office. That's how it's going to work. That's the only way that Dembele can say at Barcelona. The question is, Will that happen? Probably not. We are hearing right now in the media that 99% that Ousmane Dembele will leave Barcelona this summer and most likely his destination will be PSG as a replacement for Di Maria who is also leaving for free. So we'll wait and see what happens. The door is open for both parties to make that first move but again the club want Dembele to make that first move so now it's up to Ousmane Dembele and his agent to make that first approach. And the final contract renewal update is on the contract renewal of both Ronald Araujo and Pablo Gabe, the two absolute priorities for Barcelona in terms of contract renewals. First they come and give him Luis Rojo from Marca. He's come out saying that Gabi is going to renew his his contract with Barcelona for sure. The positions are not too far apart, but with Ronaldo Araujo's case, it is indeed more 
complicated. So let's start off firstly on Gabby. A quick update on him coming in from Esport 3. They've come out saying that Barcelona are playing a new meeting with Gabby's agent Ivan de la Peña to continue negotiating his contract renewal. Both parties are now optimistic about finding a definitive agreement. So again, Gabby's contract renewal shouldn't be a problem. Again, they're very, very close. Few minor details here and there. This should have been done back in October, and that's what's really pissing me off. It's currently end of March, and he's still not renewed his contract. So, again, everything the media is saying that, look, Gabby's contract is not a problem. He'll stay. He's a Kool-Aid, diehard. The, both the agreements are very, very close. In the end, a couple more meetings, few more negotiations, and in the end, the deal will get done. But for Arojo, it is a bit more complicated. Esport 3 came out saying that Arojo's renewal is not progressing. Barcelona considered that the demands of his ages are exaggerated and they will not raise their offer. The club also believes that it will set a bad example among players who have already renewed on lower terms. So apparently, Araujo wants more than Pedri and Ansu Fati. That's the rumor. Ansu Fati apparently earns around 150k a week, Pedri around the same. He wants to be in that area, but the club don't think he is in that area. I mean, <sighs> I don't know about these rumors, man. I don't think Aruha was that money hungry. I don't I don't see him as that type of person. I think more so he wants to be in that region so he, you know, get his recognition that he's he deserves and then he'll renew. But the problem is Will the club get there or not? But we do have one reliable report coming in from Samuel Marsden and Moises Malorans from ESPN. They came out with an extensive article saying that Barcelona want Araujo to stay and remain confident that he will renew his contract. Araujo's preference is also to stay at Barcelona. Both sides, the club and the player, will need to give a little to reach an agreement. So in the end, both sides have to buckle a bit for the agreement to happen and looks like they're both willing to do so. Also, they came out saying that Barcelona and Araujo's agents will meet in the next few days. Key meetings coming up. Barcelona's offer right now is almost at around 5 million euros net per year for the next five years, but Manchester United and Liverpool are offering 8 million euros net per season. Now this for me, I saw this as good news because of course originally we were hearing around 3 million euros, which is like you know, 80k a week, but now 5 million is around about 97k a week plus bonuses, all that sort of stuff, that'll reach over 100k per week and that is what Araujo wants. So if that's the case, if this is true, I am confident now that the agreement will be reached. Again, Barcelona will give a little bit, Araujo will give a little bit as well to reduce it. In the end, an agreement should be reached hopefully. And also a good example that Araujo should follow is the example of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. When Deportivo came out saying that Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's salary at Arsenal was 1.3 million euros per month. He took a massive pay cut to join Barcelona and right now earns around 380,000 euro per month. His salary will increase next season but will still stay far away from his Arsenal numbers. So, Aubameyang, 380, that's around 700 per month, around about again 100k per week. So if Aubameyang is earning that, I think Arujo should be a bit under that. So I think 90k a week is 100% fair. Of course, Aubameyang right now, one of the star players in the squad. I think now, looking back now, I think 5 million euros net per season is an absolutely 100% fair offer from Barcelona. The question now is, will Araujo accept it? Now, the final topic that I want to discuss before I end off this video is give you guys an injury update on Ansu Fati. And we have some massive, massive news coming in from Fernando Polo of Mundo Bordivo. He's come out saying that Ansu Fati is in the final stretch of his recovery and is expected to join the group training session next week. After training with the group for around 20 days, he will receive the medical green light, which means that he's on course to return around mid-April, but of course, there will not be any rush. And having Miguel from AES came out back in that statement as well, saying Ansu Fati is expected to receive the medical green light around April the 10th and play a few minutes against Levante. He'll miss his Sevilla match and of course the first leg against Eintracht Frankfurt in the Europa League. Big, big news here. If we can get Ansu Fati for the final few games of the season, that would be absolutely massive. But again, 100%, there will not be any rush. I think Ansu Fati will come back near the end of April. I think he'll be on the bench for the final few games of April. And then we have two in the final weekend. There is a game midweek, I believe, against Real Sociedad at the Anahueta. That'll be a massive game. I think he'll be on the bench for around those games. And then he'll start probably in May. But if he's starting, who do you drop? Fran Torres, Dembele? 
going to be a big headache there for Xavi Hernandez. But of course, as the fact to return to the pitch with Barcelona is a massive, massive upgrade. So that was my reaction to the Barcelona news over the past 24 hours. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And of course, leave your thoughts down below in the comments on everything we discussed. The main thing I want to know firstly about Lewandowski. Would you offer him a four-year contract at Barcelona? Secondly, on Rafinha and Anthony. If you could only pick one of these two Brazilian wingers to come to Barcelona, who would you sign and why? Thirdly, on Trincao and Coutinho, think they end up leaving Barcelona or not. And finally, on those contract renewals. I think we can all agree that Gavi will renew his contract. Who do you think will renew their contract though out of Adrojo and Dembele? One of them, both of them, or neither of them. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and force the Barca.